Police Constables Terrell Rowley and Samir Medina have been placed on interdiction and will face criminal charges for the beatdown on two of three siblings on New Year's Day in San Pedro. That's the new directive from Acting Commissioner of Police Chester Williams after he personally reached out to the Leal family to find out why they were refusing to provide statements to the Professional Standards Branch on what transpired on the night of January 1st at Playa Bar and Grill. The Professional Standards Branch had made several attempts to seek the cooperation of the two victims and uh, that cooperation was not forthcoming. And so we had decided then to proceed disciplinarily in respect to the two officers. As I've also said before that the conduct depicted by the video footage is one that we cannot countenance as a police department, especially if we want to be able to build public trust and confidence, whatever we do will be done in such a way that it affords the public to be able to look at us in a different light and uh, to see that we are serious about addressing misconduct of our officers. And so with that in mind, I personally reached out to the mothers of the two, three gentlemen um, yesterday and uh, I explained to her our position and uh, asked if she would be willing to come to Benapan to see me so that I could speak with her and her three sons to seek their cooperation in this matter. The mother was more than willing to agree to come to Belmopan. Arrangements were made and the family arrived in Belmopan this morning after receiving assurances from Williams that there will be no retribution from the officers should they cooperate with the investigation. The Leal siblings provided detailed statements to the police and with sufficient evidence, personnel from the Crimes Investigation Branch in Belize City will move to charge two of their own. We have sufficient evidence now and we now have the two complainants and we will now be proceeding criminally against the two mentioned police officers. The charges that would be imposed on these officers for the brutality? I think that the charge will be for wounding and harm. Um, any timeline as to when they will be brought in, when they will be arrested, arraigned? Well, um, the statements were just completed and so I will now forward the statement to Crime Investigation Branch in Belize City because I'll have them deal with the criminal aspect of it and uh, Professional Standard Branch will deal, continue to deal with the internal aspect of it. 20-year-old Jamir Leal was the main victim of the brutality at the hands of the police constables who were attached to the San Pedro police formation. As was seen in the chilling images on video, he was whacked several times with a baton as he lay unconscious on the ground before he was power kicked to the head by Rowley. In the immediate aftermath of the ordeal, he and his siblings were fearful and as a result did not want to cooperate with the investigators. Leal spoke about the change of heart. First time in the world, but we safety, right? Knowing that they still are out there and then would I get one week suspension, right? I never want to get, you know, um, I'm not worried about we safety right now, I want nothing to happen to you. But then like how Mr. Williams explained everything to you, right? Like they're not doing nothing. So like this, uh, we decided to impress um, charges against the officers who um, injured me, right? And um, we can't we can let it like that. So like we decided to um, cooperate with the investigation. And just like the abuse of power, right? Just because they got a uniform, that no means they could do anything, whatever they want and do anything they want to um, anybody. Like, we are humans, we got rights, you know, deserve to get treated like that. Acting Compal Williams says that misconduct by police officers will not be tolerated. I think the video speaks for itself. Um, when I looked at the video, I personally, I catch cold cold seed. Um, it is disgusting. Um, and uh, we cannot countenance behaviors like that. I think that... As an organization, we should do our utmost best to 
ensure that the right thing is done. And so I decided to take that additional effort. I want to assure the public that whenever we have police officers who will behave in such a way, it does not serve us any well to cover those misconducts. It does us as an organization more harm than good. And so we, moving forward, will be very swift to address any police misconduct. And uh, I also want to assure the three gentlemen and any other person who may have been aggrieved by police officers that once it is that you decide to work with us to address the misconduct of our officers, that we will do our best to ensure that no police officer target you as a result of your cooperation. William says that it is expected that PCs Rowley and Medina will be arraigned by Friday for the crime. Twin Moody for News 5.